McConnell says open DACA debate he promised will end this week. So, okay, we have an ad. All right. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I got I to gotta invest in an ad blocker because this ad's not stopping. Uh, McConnell says open DACA debate he promised will end this week. So did the debate start? When did the DACA debate start? I don't think it fucking started. So a debate he promised that hasn't started yet will end this week. All right, interesting. When the Senate voted Monday night to open the floor up to consider proposals to protect 700,000 DACA recipients, okay, I guess it's Monday night they talked about it. Uh, Democrat senators gushed that they were finally going to have the freewheeling debate they had long craved. Many on both sides assumed the contentious, complicated issue could drag out for weeks. Uh, I've been here seven years and never seen anything like it, Senator Chris Coons, a uh, Democrat from Delaware, marveled. Who knows? Democracy may very well break out in here. Really? If we had a democracy, this would never have happened. If we had a democracy, our government would decide 90% of people favor DACA. It's going to be in the budget. That's what would happen if we had a democracy. Democracy may very well. So you're patting yourself on the back, Chris Coons. You're part of the problem, Chris Coons. And how dare you try to trick these people into making it out like you guys are doing your job and you guys are actually standing up for something. You're standing up for nothing. We'd never be in this situation if democracy was working. Oh, we just might have democracy here. We're standing up for you. Resistance. Fuck off. Fuck off. And I don't even know anything about this Chris Coons guy's politics. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming he's an establishment Democrat, uh, which means he's, he's conservative, basically. But based on his commentary here, I hope a progressive is priming him out. Saki points out, the only thing the Dems are good at resisting is change. Democracy is dead. The media creates false government. He sounds like a peach, Jesse points out. The excitement quickly turned to frustration. Oh, surprise, surprise. As Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell confirmed Tuesday morning that he wants the entire debate on the half dozen plus competing proposals put forward so far by lawmakers to be over by the end of the week. Senators have had plenty of time to prepare. There's no reason why we should not reach a bipartisan solution this week. So what does this bipartisan solution mean? What does that mean? You're either going to fund DACA or you're not. How is there a bipartisan solution? And guess what? It's going to be the latter. Or it's going to be some kind of temporary bullshit. They're going to find a way to kick this down the hill. I guarantee it. Republican leadership shouldn't try to short circuit bipartisan discussions at this point. There we go. Bipartisan. Bipartisan is code for we're going to work together to screw you. These days, that's what bipartisan is code for. This is not about the politics of compromise. This is about public opinion be damned. How can we just subtly screw people? That's what this is. That's what bipartisanship means. And what they want is they want us to pat them on the back. Hey, you guys work together. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Saki points out it's hard to reach across the aisle when you're sitting next to him. Like any taking, like any leader taking credit for ship, forever voting third party points out, correcting a mistake. Uh, Republican leadership shouldn't try to short circuit bipartisan discussions. Senators haven't agreed to any time limit, but other members of the Senate's Republican leadership confirm the condensed timeline. GOP whip John Corn said of his Democratic colleagues, they better get it done quick because it's this week or not at all. House Democrats who have pinned their hopes on the Senate passing an immigration bill and ramping up pressure on their chamber were furious. These Republicans say they're not, they're going to be fair and open and want to get a result, but only if you do it on their terms. Uh, gee, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, if Democrats were focused on policy nonstop instead of focused on Russia, 
24 fucking seven, they would be prepared for this. You see how this is political theater bullshit, right? The gist of this article is Republicans say, hey, we got to get it done by this week. Democrats are being like, hey, they're being mean to us again. We're not prepared. DACA hasn't been in the news for weeks. And it's really complicated. We either fund this or we don't. We fund it or we fucking don't. Is it complicated when they need bomb money? Is it complicated when they want to throw $160 billion to make more bombs? Is that complicated? When is that ever complicated? Marcus points out, bipartisan doesn't exist when they're on the same side. Exactly. This is theater. This is bullshit. This is just an example of good cop, bad cop. Don't fall for it. After March 5th, unless Congress can pass a bill... Or if federal court intervenes, more than a thousand DAC recipients. Oh, wow, wow, that's embarrassing. That was embarrassing. I'm going to try that again. Uh, after March 5th, unless Congress can pass a bill or a federal court intervenes, more than 1,000 DACA recipients per day will begin to lose their work permits and be at risk of deportation. I told Mitch McConnell, looking him in the eye, this is from Senator Dick Durbin, one of the one of the really good con artists in the Democratic Party. I trust you. I think you made it clear you're going to be fair on the floor, and I've defended you to some Democrats who are skeptical. You're, you're, you're an idiot, Dick Durbin. You are an idiot. You know what, Dick Durbin? Call me. I have some coastal property to sell, to sell you. It's, it's based in Ohio. It's, it's based in your state of Illinois. I guess technically if you count. <laughs> Parts of Lake Michigan look like it's coastal property. It's a very beautiful line. <laughs> Kate points out, I volunteered for his campaign. He's all talk. And, it, and even his talk shitty. Wow. So we'll see what happens here. I mean, they're talking about it. And we'll see if this actually gets done. It should have never even gotten to this point. And I have a feeling they're going to try to uh, screw over at least some people. That's what I have a feeling is going to happen. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.